Oh no. Morning guys, having a bit of a fish up one of the creeks this morning. There's heaps and heaps of hardy heads along here. So I'm using something a bit different other than my normal grubs. I've got a three inch slim swims here on a 3.0 quarter ounce Demons jig head. And um, just to try and replicate these hardy heads over here before, we've had pretty good success using a smaller paddle tail just to try and replicate those hardy heads. So we'll see how we go. Just got the normal 10 pound stealth leader and little light inspirer and um, a Helios rod this morning. Like I said, this is the gear I use. It's a seven foot light spin rod, bit of light braid, 10 pound leader. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. I'm just using a bit different plastic try and replicate the hardy heads over here I've got a little demons jig head and um, a slim swim because there's quite a lot of hardy heads kicking around today so So just a little demons, I think it's a 3 0 and um, about quarter quarter ounce and uh, watermelon red slim swim. Looks pretty much like a hardy head, and this little guy thought that uh, it did too. So, anyway, I'll get him in the water and have another go. Cheers, oh. guys. I just want to show you a couple of things that I like fishing. Where I'm fishing here today is just about all dry at low tide. The fish will push up here once the tide's sort of half up or more and little drains like this one in front of me here create little pressure points. Either side of this is one of the favourite spots for trying to get a fish when the tide's sort of half up or or even a bit more. It's um, it's a place where the, the smaller fish can get up and hide and generally you'll get an odd fish poking along here. You won't get it at every creek and every drain but they're certainly a good spot to to persist with for a bit. Um, you know, you've seen me fish for truck grunter a, a million times and everything else, but you know, if I can just keep giving you a few tips and it helps someone out, well, I guess that's what it's all about for me. So hopefully I can just keep, um, keep giving you enough tips that you, you'd get out and, and catch a few of these things because they are good fun. Um, you'll see coming, there's another little bit of a bay here on all these little points when this tide's running in. Is where I've caught quite a lot of fish this morning they're just any sort of a break you know it's a pretty barren sort of a bank it's all just basic mangroves but wherever there's a bit of a dip like this to create a backwater a drain or you know a bit of a bit of a mangrove sticking out it's always worth a, a cast just on the edge there and that's all I'm doing I'm just pushing down here trying to find wherever the fish are where you find them they'll generally be a fair few so it's just a matter of working your way along and and getting a fish. What this is, foul hooked it maybe. Holy, it's a grunter and a good one. Oh, 
That was a funny sort of a take and a fight. No need to rush these things. Ooh. Especially when he goes around the electric like that. Oops, there's some stealth. Now he's realised he's hooked. That's a good one. You can see behind we're only fishing about a metre of water over against the mango veggies, just following along the um, hardy head schools and you can see it was a funny sort of a bite but he's well and truly engulfed that little um, three inch slim swim so yeah it's going good. See if I can um, get another one that'll do me for dinner anymore that I get I'll be letting go so I've got a got two for the old boy so um, yeah, good fun.